All right, now, let me talk about some of the bad things that happen to the brain. Now, you're all hopefully amazed as I was when I was in medical school and even today learning about the brain. But bad stuff happens, and of course, one of the biggest issues of, is dementia. Now, dementia happens for a couple reasons. Uh, it happens because you have strokes, and it happens because you get Alzheimer's. So let's right. talk about strokes and how they can be devastating. Yeah. So these are our blood vessels. There are massive blood vessels that bring nutrients, sustaining nutrients to the brain. If the pressure in your body is too high, you get cracks and it's like a tube that bursts. And look up here. You see the blood came out of the blood vessel here? Right. When your blood spills outside these blood vessels, you get all kinds of changes, toxic changes, because the blood is very dangerous to cells unless it's in the right place. So it kills the cells. Right. This, these are called bleeds. You can get it from falling down and hitting your head. You can get it from high blood pressure. It's one of the reasons high blood pressure is the it's, number one cause of aging of all. It right. dwarfs all the other ones as a cause of aging. Frightening. Right. But knowledge is power, right? Not if you know what to look for and how to prevent it, yeah. right? So someone today who would have had a stroke from a bleed won't because they watched you and they realized if it can drop their blood pressure, they won't have the problem. That's not possible. Now, okay. sometimes you're born with an abnormality. And bad luck happens in medicine. You're, everyone's dealt a, a, hand. a hand. And this is called a little aneurysm. So the blood vessel is supposed to look like this. But you see how this, like an inner tube, is a little out pouching here? Yes. That's not supposed to be here. This becomes very thin and it's prone to rupturing. So this one sometimes... So it's like a little time bomb, really. Yeah, and and uh, young women in particular will sometimes fall prey to this. When young people have strokes, I always worry they had one of these small aneurysms. But the beauty today, today, is we can either clip it like this and clock it off like that, or doctors can go in with stents and actually... And fill it in. Fill it in and coil wow, it. Wow, that's amazing. Isn't that great? So just from your groin, as long as we know. So if you have the worst headache you have ever had, first thing you should think of is, do I have an Check aneurysm? Check for an aneurysm. First thing. And it's not like a little headache, it's the worst headache ever. Finally, the most common one is you get a blockage inside of an artery. And when you have a blockage inside of an artery, it all of a sudden suffocates the, the tissue that's supposed to be fed with it. And it's like someone, boom, punched the artery. Punched a hole yeah, in, and, your, in your, your brain. head, literally. Yeah, and wow. that, and, you, and you, you get small ones. And if, it, if that same blockage happens here, you lose this entire side of the brain. So all of these are scary unless you realize they empower you. Because now that you know that this could happen, you know you can prevent this. Because this doesn't happen over decades and decades. Something happens over a couple days that suddenly causes this plaque to rupture and cause the problem.